on that. Then we have seen the general equation of a circle. Once the general equation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is given, you know how to identify the center and radius. Now let us go to the advanced topics because this is the basic definition of a circle and derivation of its equation once center and radius are known and then we have seen the general equation and from the general equation we have found radius and center. Now let us see various aspects on the equation of the circle and please observe circle equation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 is not having xy term and let me show you the next concept. These are the basic things equation of circle with center AB and general equation. Now we have seen three aspects which are very important. The three aspects I just recall them. Circle with center AB and radius R its equation is this just I am recalling and general equation of the circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c. Once you have the general equation its center is minus g minus f and radius is under root g square plus f square minus c. We have studied these aspects and circle has three independent constants g, f, c very important for your exam. Any time indirectly or directly they give you three conditions and ask you to find the equation of the circle. Let us see them before that let us see the circles touching coordinate axis that is what we are about to begin and now let me start with that circles touching coordinate axis this is my heading please let us see circles touching coordinate axis now let me first of all take a circle which is cutting x axis at two points look at the figure once the given circle is cutting x axis at a and b the general equation of the circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 this is the circle whose equation is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c and you know the center what is center minus g minus f and you know the radius c i will call this and i call this as p cp p is the foot now ab is called ab is called intercept made by the circle on x axis please look at this once again ab is if a circle cuts x axis at two points then ab is called this particular chord is called the intercept made by circle on x axis what is its length that is our main important the length of the intercept made by a circle on x axis that is our this thing main motto its length is length of x intercept made by a circle is 2 root g square minus c very important if you know the circle equation you know the length of ab length of ab is 2 root g square minus c now i wanted to show you how we got this because it's not simply writing the formulas you should learn the underlying idea so let me take up the idea how you got that let me just show you and uh, the length of the intercept ab is 2 root g square minus c now already you know the center i just write this as ca ca is radius okay ca is radius look at the please figure very carefully ca is the radius and now by cap is a right triangle and by pythagoras theorem you know cp square plus ap square is ca square cp cp is the y coordinate y coordinate is minus f its square is f square plus ap square we do not have any idea but ca square the radius of the circle is g square plus f square minus c i leave these two i have ap square as g square minus c and ap is root g square minus c i am not putting plus or minus because it is length of a line no need to take minus it is only plus i got ap 
and I want AB. Therefore, twice of it, AB is 2 times G square minus C. Therefore, the length of the intercept made by a circle on x axis is 2 root G square minus C. Once the circle equation is known, for example, if you take up a circle equation, what is the length of the circle? Suppose this circle x square plus y square plus 8x plus 6y minus 3. You wanted to know what is the length it is cutting on x axis. 2 root g square minus c. 2 root, your g is 4. So, 4 square minus c minus 3. So, 2 root 16 plus 3. 2 root 19. This particular circle makes a segment of 2 root 19 on x axis. In case if the circle touches x axis, let us see. Now, please, if the circle is simply touching, I will show you the figure again. In this case, the circle is cutting x axis, but now it is just touching. If it is touching at a point, particular point, and in that case, you know there is no length, there is no chord, the length of the chord is 0. G square minus C will be 0. G square is C. This is the condition for any circle to touch x axis. Very, very, very important. This is the condition for any circle to touch x axis. If a circle is touching x axis, its g square value will be exactly c. So, please note this. In the same manner, the length of the y intercept is 2 root f square minus c and circle touches y axis if f square is equal to c. Please tell me if the circle is touching both the axis in this way. It is touching here, it is touching here. Suppose it is touching both the axis, the condition is g square plus f square is equal to c. g square is equal to f square is equal to c if the circle is touching both the axis. And the beauty of mathematics is g square f square is equal to c, the circle can touch in the first quadrant, in the second quadrant, in the third quadrant, in the fourth quadrant. So, for various quadrants, various conditions will apply. Let me show you a small example that came last year in the exam. Let me discuss some of the example questions on this particular aspect. Please look at this. My question 1. Equation of circle having center at A comma A and touching axis and touching axis in the first quadrant. I just gave you one important exam question. Look at this equation of circle having center a comma a and touching axis in the first quadrant. If you look at the figure in this particular case, this is the situation. The circle is touching both x axis and y axis, center is a a. It is in the first quadrant. What is this distance? a. This distance is also a. In this case, do you observe that the radius of the circle is a only and center is a a. Center is a comma a and radius is a. Okay, if this is the situation, once you know the center, once you know the radius, the equation of the circle is x minus a whole square plus y minus a whole square is a square. That gives x square plus y square minus 2ax minus 2ay plus a square is equal to 0 on simplification. This is a very important model. Every year they are asking circle touching. And please remember, you have to observe in which quadrant it is touching. If it is, if they say equation of the circle in the second quadrant, your coordinates will change. In the third quadrant, the sign convention will change. As it is first quadrant, both A and A are positive. No problem at all. But if you take the other quadrants, the sign will change. Circle topics ku sambandhinchi basic topic telusukundam kada mari circle ku sambandhinchina advanced topic telusukundam dani kante mundu intermediate lo circle topic ku unna importance gurinchi telusukundam first of all let us see the weightage given for this chapter in intermediate examination the weightage for circles is 15 marks and the 15 marks is distributed as follows very short answer questions two questions will be given each two marks four marks